Yeah, hi there. These comments are for Tamim, and I am Michael, the founder owner and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the seven step system to pass a TOEFL IBT. So you see, I have one and a half years to prepare for TOEFL exam. I need to get 75 marks in order to apply for scholarships. I need to improve my speaking, writing, reading. I look forward to your guidance. Uh, okay, well that's pretty easy. Why wow, you got a you got a long time here? I got a, I've got a lot of good ideas for you, right? So you might want to get a sheet of paper out, get a pen, get ready to take some notes. I help people like you all the time, thousands of people. You're in a good situation, Tamim, because you have a lot of time. A lot of people they send me a message, Michael, my score is 75. I need to get 130 days. Oh, that's terrible. That'll never never happen. But if you have a year and a half, heck, we can do this. Now, first of all, uh, okay, here's what I'm recommending. I recommend that you go through my online TOEFL course in three ways. There's seven sections to my course, right? So first of all, I want you to complete the vocabulary, pronunciation, and grammar sections. Do those first. That'll probably take anywhere from one to three months. Once you've done that, then go through the listening and the reading parts of my course. Now, when you do the listening practice test and the reading practice test, the first time you're doing it for comprehension. You're seeing how much you can remember when you read and when you listen, am I right? But the second time you go through my listening practice test and my reading practice test, I want you to take down notes. Get down the main and the most important supporting points of the reading and the listening passages in note form. And then using your notes, I want you to write three summaries. You should write three summaries each week focusing on the main and the most important supporting points of the reading and the listening passages. Remember, this is going to help your writing, not just reading and listening, but we're also working on improving your writing. Now, secondly, uh, in addition to writing about the passages, and that means maybe three 250-word summaries weekly, I also want you to speak about these reading and listening passages. My recommendation may be three to five oral summaries each week. Each summary should be 90 seconds long. And guess what? I recommend that you record these summaries so you can listen to them later on for three things pronunciation, language use, and topic development. You need to get more used to the problems that you're having right now, right? So that's going to be helpful for you. So once you've done the reading and the listening lessons, then you can move to the speaking and the writing. So all of this just depends on how slow or how quickly you can master the information, but my recommendation is after you've used my course for at least three months and you're studying maybe three, four hours every day, then you can take a full length IBT practice test. What do you think, Tom M., is going to happen if you take a full length IBT practice test other than you're going to be bored to death? Of course, you know, it's not exciting to take a TOEFL practice test, but if you take it, number one, you develop the strength and the stamina needed to take a five-hour English test. You're learning how to concentrate for longer periods of time. Now, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Think about it. It's a good thing, right? Now, secondly, if you take a full-length IBT practice test, obviously you can mark your progress. You can see how close you are to your goal of 75. You even get subtotal scores in the reading, listening, writing, and speaking. Again, you can monitor your progress. Now, the third benefit of taking a full-length IBT practice test, you think about what it is? You get more familiar with the structure and the format of the TOEFL IBT exam. It's exactly what's going to happen, right? So all of these things are good for you. And these are my recommendations for you. You're in good shape right now. If you're ready to work hard, if you're disciplined, if you can study every day and you can follow my plan I outlined in this video, I'm telling you, you will be able to reach your goal. Maybe you can even get higher than your goal. What if you got 100 on the TOEFL IBT? Would you be upset? Probably not, right? 
how about 95, 90, somewhere around there? If you work really hard, you probably can get higher than even 75. All right, anyway, thank you very much, and all the best to your high-scoring TOEFL success.